Hey you guys, it's Carol here. I'm back with another video. Yes, I did say I'm back with another video. As you guys can tell by this title, I don't know what this title is going to be called. I don't know, but you clicked on this video for a reason. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and turn the post notification bell on. That way you don't miss a video, 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 don't miss a video. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get right into the video. You guys, I have some McDonald's breakfast. This might be the thumbnail. So I have some McDonald's breakfast. I got a vanilla iced coffee, hash brown, and a sausage, egg, and cheese mac muffin. Because I am hungry. Mm. This hash brown is fresh. Mmm, what's yummy? Mm. So, happy Friday. I'm gonna start with that. Happy Friday. I wonder how you guys are liking my um, new videos. I hope I'm touching on some good topics. But, um, headed to work. And I just thought of something to talk about. All right, so I'm gonna be talking about just you know being a chosen one for usual, being a chosen one, and just saying like they just they don't want you to win. Like they really don't want us to win, and that goes for like family, friends, all that. They do not want us to win. They don't want us to succeed and that started at a young age i'm sorry you guys but i have to throw this egg out i just don't even want to look at this egg i'm sorry i don't normally do that i don't think anybody should be littering per se but that egg looked disgusting so now i just have a sausage my boyfriend i probably should have just ordered it like that you guys whatever but um yeah they don't want to see us win they don't want to see us making a way for ourselves they don't want to see us um like having our own sources of income they don't want to see us making our own families if they're not married they damn sure don't want you to be married that is sad when you really think about it that is sad they don't want you to have anything that they do not have. It is sad and it is sick. Because these are people that are supposed to lift you up. Celebrate you. And it's the opposite. They do not want to see you do good in life. Mm-mm. And that's why it's important for you to distance yourself. It's important. It is so important. Because these people will drain you. They will suck you dry. They will, um, they will make you just, like, not believe in yourself. And you don't want that. Mm-mm. Comment down below if you if you feel like every time you have something good going on in your life, your family is like just not supportive, not supportive, and then it's like you're telling them about what you're about to do, like you're about to graduate. You're about to start this internship. You're about to do something. Because that literally happened to me. Going into my senior year. About to do my internship. This is when I was talking to my grandmother at the time. I'm telling her. 
all the things that I have to do in order to graduate. She turned the conversation about her. And then she starts telling me about my cousin. And I'm like, I love my cousin, but he's a grown ass man. I don't give a fuck about what he has to do. Telling me about what he's struggling with, blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry to be like that, but at the time, I did not give a fuck because I'm telling you about me right now. This conversation is not about him. Like, and I remember getting pissed off. I remember getting pissed off with my grandma. I just got off the phone, and then something told me to call her back, and I was just like, why do you do that? And she's like, why do I do what? Why do you always make the conversation about yourself or about something that's not even pertaining to what I'm talking about when I called you? That shit is fucking annoying. Like, but that's what these narcissists do, you guys. Take heed to that. They don't want to see you win. They don't want to see you elevate. All they've ever told you is what you could not do. When they see you doing the opposite of that, it's like, it crushes their ego. I don't have shit to do with them. Nothing to do with them. Me graduating was for me. Moi. That's why I just had to distance myself. It's too much. Mm-mm. draining sucking the life out of you like and we go above and beyond for these people like i used to be so excited to like talk to my granny at one point i was talking to her every single day everything was fine and then all of a sudden she stopped talking to me to talk to my mom <laughs> i was like okay 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 I see what we're doing now. But you guys, I was stupid in that moment to think that I was any different. Because growing up, she talked she talked to my mom and about my mom like a fucking dog. Like a dog to me growing up and to other people. So, I don't know why I thought I was going to be different. I don't know why I thought I was going to be different. I just thought, like, oh, you know, I'm doing everything I got to do in school. I'm respectful, this and that. I'm doing everything I got to do around here. I'm playing nice, all this stuff. I'm just thinking, like, I would be good. You know, I would have that family support. You guys, it don't matter what you do. These people will never be satisfied. Never. And that's how you gotta live for you. You know? Yeah, I was trying to, like, graduate and everything for myself. But the the little underlining, you know you want... Like, you want your family to be proud. You would, you would hope. But no, these people... They don't want to see you do shit. Like, literally, at my graduation party, my grandma said a speech and so many people have this recorded so she can never deny it she said a speech that was just fucking terrible like i'd rather her not even have said anything like basically saying like it took me forever to get out of there and she just didn't know and blah 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 like girl didn't want to talk to me the whole graduation party she was distant because that same day is when like I just I had had enough I had enough before leading up to the graduation party she was starting shit every fucking day you guys every fucking day every fucking day every fucking day I just brushed it off brushed it off brushed it off the day of the graduation party I just I let her fucking have it and these narcissists they don't like being confronted they can do no wrong 
they can do no wrong not me and she's sad she she's in her room she's crying she's upset i'm sorry but that was my breaking point and it's like normally i would give a fuck that you're crying right now i don't give a fuck because you never gave a fuck when i was sad you never cared that i was sad or down about something oh no Oh no, I couldn't even, I couldn't even be in the car with her and be looking out the window because she would be like, she would be like, um, you got an attitude? No, no, no. What's your problem? That, that was her go-to. What's your problem? And I'm like, I didn't have a problem, but now that you're acting, now I have a problem. Like, why? Like, so it's okay to be quiet sometimes. That's, that's what I learned. It's okay to be quiet sometimes. Her is just non-stop, non-stop, non-stop. Or she'll start talking to me about something, and then when we get around other people, she's telling me them, Jakira just talks, talk, talk. She just talk, talk, talk. But you're not even mentioning the fact that you started the conversation. You're not mentioning the fact that you initiated the conversation with me. Like, it was always, she would always be just telling people, like, half-ass shit, you guys. And when you're younger, you let that shit slide. But when you get to a certain age, it's like, stop fucking lying on me. Stop fucking lying on me. Because you know what you're doing. And these narcissists, they know how to turn it on and off. You think they don't know what they're doing? They know what the fuck they're doing because I've seen my grandma do it too many times in front of various different people. And narcissists, do not think that they treat everybody how they treat like treat you. No. Growing up, when I started standing up for myself, I told my granny all the time, you don't talk to this person like that. You don't talk to this person like that. And she'd be like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, she try to, like, brush it off. No, it's fucking true. She does not talk to my aunt the way that she the way she talks to me she does not talk to um her sister how she talks to me she doesn't talk to anybody how she talks to me i mean she talks to me like shit and she talks to my mom like shit shit my mom has not been the best child but she has also my granny has also not been the best mother but like my granny she just plays the games plays the games plays the games like and then when you start saying stuff it's like so i didn't do this for you so i didn't do this for you and that's the game that they play because it's to throw you off it's so you cannot even be on track of what you're saying but if you are smart this is what narcissists do this is what narcissists do this is what they do not only do they talk in circles that light switch be on and off on and off on and off like they say inappropriate things things that they shouldn't say in front of um like a group of people or like just like remarks and like derogatory shit that they shouldn't say they say it and then it's like they are so um they are so like convicted in what they're saying they're like um yeah that's right because of blah 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 and then it's like they are so convincing well they are so manipulative that they can have a group of people who do not agree with them agreeing with them and i just be like and then i would always look like the fucking oddball because i'm the one standing up and i'm saying stuff and it even got to the point where my aunt my mom's sister that i had the fight with it even got to the point where she started telling me, like, Ja'Kara, you're not gonna win. Just, just. And I'm just like, what the fuck? This lady just said something racist in front of, just said something regarding Hispanics in front of your Hispanic friend. And you're not gonna stand up for your fucking friend because this is your mom? Are you crazy? And that's what that's what I that's what I don't understand. Like y'all be riding for people right or wrong, and that's the problem. And that's why this generation is continue going to continue to be fucked up. You let your mom say that shit in front of your friend, and you thought that was okay. And I was like, that's not right. I shook my head. I said, that's not right. That's not right. And I and I stood on that. I really did. I stood on that. I was like, that is not right. So, ma'am. She was so upset that I said that because I said it in front of a group of people. I don't know. I think it was like a, I think it was a Thanksgiving. I don't know. It was it was definitely a holiday. But I said I was just like, this is not right. You should not say that. 
Like, I, I wouldn't even feel comfortable repeating that joke right now because it's not a joke. I didn't laugh in the moment because I did not think that shit was funny. It was not funny. And nobody thought it was funny. They were just like, like, everybody's mouth dropped. But nobody's bold enough to stand up to her. And I'm like, what the fuck is she going to do to you? Is she going to slap the shit out of you? Are you afraid you're going to get kicked out? Like, what is it? Is it because we have all the events over here and y'all don't want to have events at y'all's house? What is the case? Like, I just felt like she's my grandmother. I respect her, but I do not agree with the bullshit she's saying. If nobody else is going to speak up, I'm going to speak up. At the end of the day, I still love you, but I'm speaking out against what I don't agree with. And when I would do the same thing to my aunt, I would speak out against the things that she would say that I disagree with. My granny would be like, do you hate her? Do you hate her? Like, that's what they do, you guys. They either try to, like, throw materialistic shit in your face or all the stuff they've done for you in the past. Like, a whole list. Like, baby, she, she, she got the list. She got the list. She gonna start talking about AC, uniform clothes from elementary. She gonna start talking about the roof over your head, the clothes on your back all the time she got your nails done all the time she got your hair braided oh she gonna start talking about the prom stuff she purchased she gonna start talking about any and everything you guys i'm just like if you have these kind of people in your life distance yourself it's not you it's them it's not you it's them and they wonder why things do not work out for them and that is why because you put out negativity I was young and I was impressionable and I'm believing everything they said. And when I get older and I have my own sense of mind and I'm telling them, no, that's not right or that's inappropriate, blah, 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 I look, I look stupid. And like the whole time, even if everybody is disagreeing, you got my grandmother and my aunt and my aunt's agreeing with everything, 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 because I guess she would be considered the golden child because that's actually a title she would be considered i guess the golden child or she would be considered the flying monkey the flying monkey is the person that just goes along with every fucking thing all the fucking bullshit so one of those one of those golden child flying monkey same it's the same thing but that's what she would be considered she goes along with everything because she's getting everything and that's all she cares about is getting that's all she cares about so that's it for this video you guys that was a lot but i'm gonna just say do what's best for you no contact might not be the thing for you low contact might be the thing for you just do your own research uh, i want you guys to say pray it up because god god is not playing he is not playing if you are not spiritual i suggest you tap in as soon as possible because i just don't want it to be too late for you all right bye y'all love y'all peace